Meteorologist Tyler Moore joining us now. Tyler, I asked you earlier if we were in the clear. It looks like people out at Clearwater already got the message. Yeah, people are out there and uh, that sun's also coming out. So some great news as we dive into the second half of the weekend. We're going to see more of this, more sunshine, some nicer weather too as potential tropical cyclone one moves away from us. But here's how things are looking over the next 12 hours. If you're trying to get outside and soak up a little bit of that late day sunshine, temperatures falling out of the 80s will drop down into the 70s for overnight lows with clearing skies. There are a couple small isolated rain showers out there right now, but overall we're starting to dry things out nicely and clear those skies out. Let's take a live look at those uh, temperatures right now. I'll show you where we're sitting at. It's been a little bit on the cooler side today. Not as many 90s. We're sitting most of us in the 80s. That's because of all those clouds that have been around for for most of the day. You can even see some upper 70s for Polk County right now. We got 83 right now towards Sarasota, 85 in St. Petersburg, where we've seen a little bit more sunshine, 88 in Crystal River. That's one of the warmest spots out there right now because you are getting more of that sunshine start to mix in. And again, that's going to continue into tomorrow. Here's the radar and satellite. Now notice there are a couple specks of green out there. That's just some of those light rain showers that are trying to linger around. But notice a lot of the white is the clouds. Those are starting to dissipate and fall apart. That's mixing in more of that sunshine. And again, we're going to see clearing skies tonight. So Sunday is looking like a fantastic day across the area. More sunshine and it is going to get warmer too. We'll head back into the 90s for tomorrow afternoon. But notice this circulation here. There it is. Potential tropical cyclone one. Uh, still not a tropical storm. Now it's moving out over the Atlantic just north of the Bahamas and it's taking a lot of the heavy rainfall with it. You can see, yes, there are some clouds and a few rain showers still over the Florida Peninsula. But overall, things are drying out nicely, which is good news because South Florida got soaked with this system. Even though here in the Tampa Bay area, we really didn't receive much rainfall. It's still pushing off to the northeast. It's moving faster, though, close to 20 miles per hour is that forward speed. So it's picking up movement and it is going to continue to work over the Atlantic and eventually towards Bermuda, uh, maybe strengthening as a tropical storm. We've been talking about this for the last 24 hours. The center of circulation needs to be well defined, a closed circulation. And we just haven't seen that with this system. So even though winds are at 45 miles per hour, that would be in a tropical storm category because the structure of the system isn't tropical storm like it's still potential tropical cyclone one, but it looks like it might get a little bit more organized now as it's back over water and moves off to the north and east. But the good news is it's staying away from the east coast of the United States, so it's mainly going to stay out to sea over the next several days. Now, if it still does develop into a tropical storm, we are looking at tropical storm. Alex, we're still going to have to wait and see National Hurricane Center is saying, Hey, maybe some more development will happen within the next six to 12 hours where they could pull the trigger and do uh, Alex as the first named storm of the season. But right now, again, all this energy is moving away from us. We'll see mostly clear skies throughout the overnight hours tonight. Temperatures dropping down into the 70s. Again, very low chance for that isolated rain shower. Now, by tomorrow morning, we're in the 70s, mostly clear skies. Now, we're going to get back to that summer like weather pattern. That means a chance for a couple isolated pop up showers and thunderstorms, mainly inland. Temperatures looking warm for tomorrow. A lot of us will head into the lower 90s and it's going to be humid too. So even though our high temperatures are in the lower 90s, it's going to feel like the upper 90s when you factor in that humidity. So a warm day heading our way tomorrow. Most of the rain chances are inland. You can see that into Sunday too and into Monday. We are looking at those rain chances mainly staying inland over the next couple of days. So for tonight, we're looking at about a 20% chance for that isolated rain shower early. Temperatures dropping into the middle 70s. Here's that forecast for tomorrow starting off in the 70s. And then we're going into the upper 80s and lower 90s again, about a 20% chance for that isolated afternoon shower storm. Again, mainly inland for those rain chances the next couple of days. Looking good though into the beginning of next week with temperatures in the lower 90s, staying warm and muggy all the way into next weekend.